Nepal Rastra Bank has allowed cross-border e-commerce payment using foreign currencies, debit and credit cards. The ceiling for such purchases is 2,000 US dollar or equivalent. This facility is available basically for those who is having foreign currency account. NRB has also allowed for those who is not having such foreign currency account to, to promote the e-commerce payment. Such limit is $500. It is a recent development. We started it just two years before. This facility is provided through prepaid card for those who also have foreign currency earning through export of services, they can, they can retain their such earnings into this card account itself up to $5,000. In excess of that, they can yeah, transfer it to their respective account. For cross-border payments between Nepal to, any, to India and other countries, several instruments are available which has very much popular globally, SWIFT, RTGS, demand draft, telegraphic transfer, uh, electronic cards, etc. NRB is also encouraging on QR payment and other faster payment system for cross-border payments between Nepal and India, which we consider is very least cost and within Nepal itself, there are several uh, technology providers and PSPs who are very much uh, pioneer and, and, <coughs> and encouraging job they are doing within Nepal. NRB has adopted single route approval for greenfield foreign investment since 2078. That means uh, around one and a half years ago for foreign equity investment in greenfield projects. Approval from NRB is no longer required, provided they are approved by the Department of Industry or Investment Board. For the purpose of feasibility study, in case of any investment, preliminary expenses like uh, research and development for the project, NRB also allowed the direct route, automated route, to bring in such amount to certain threshold. NRB also ensured single approval route for foreign capital in the form of loan. Such approval are required from NRB only. Furthermore, for the repayment of the foreign loan, the approval route has been uh, repealed since 2078 from the same regulation and repayment can be done directly through the respective bank itself. NRB has also allowed foreign investment in, in payment business. It's, it's a very recent development. We, we had amended our, our licensing policy for the payment service provider, PSP and PSO, whereby uh, for up to certain threshold, uh, the foreign investment is allowed on this uh, services as well. Nepal has provided authorization to acquire rupee card, which is very much popular in India, to several players, including Nepal SPI Bank Limited. We hope that such collaboration will lead to ultimate integration of Nepal and Indian payment landscape, including faster payment of both the countries. From a collaborative perspective, Nepal Rastamik is, is taking a positive stance always for playing a facilitating or enabling role in India-Nepal e-commerce and fintech sector. Nepal is part of our G20 financial task, financial track, and we do expect that the interactions uh, on the G20 platform would help uh, in fostering greater collaboration on the digital technology and how that can be used for social 
and economic welfare programs in Nepal. India has a very vibrant startup ecosystem. It has a number of unicorns now. And some of those startups you will get to hear from in today's program in different sessions, whether it is e-commerce or setting up innovation uh, incubators. Um, we will have some representatives from India talking about their experience, how that can be used in Nepal, or what kind of connections can be made between Nepal, Nepalese startup ecosystems, and the Indian uh, counterparts. We will also have representatives from the Nepalese uh, digital startups, such as Tootle or Sastodil, who would give their own experience. So we certainly feel this today's event should be a good starting point for connecting people, the youngsters of India and of Nepal, in a journey to enhance uh, the, the collaborative effort on startups. Um, I also have heard that uh, the next season, or there will be a Shark Tank in Nepal soon on Himalaya TV, which also tells you the interest that the two sides have in this particular area.